So Walter is in charge. Oh, are you gonna lay down? Hey, buddy. Can you cut it out? Stop. Stop. <laughs> oh, really? Right like that, buddy? <laughs> um, and I just wanted to dog. I'm trying to talk about you. Do you mind? <laughs> Traveling a lot, um, and I just wanted to dog. We're, we're talking here. And, well, okay, you know, tell me, Rub. Oh man, it is a beautiful fall day here, and that's really nice because I am not digging the snow in October. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can hear this, but the crunch of the leaves. Ooh, white shoes are kind of a no-no on the farm, but I just got home from work, so this is what I'm doing, and we're gonna risk it. But here we are, making life choices and living by them. So with all this predator talk the past week, uh, I thought this might be a good day to introduce you, I mean really introduce you, to our livestock guardian, Walter. But before I do that, I need to check on the goats, the baby ducks, and the baby chicks and see how they're doing. <laughs> um, I hope you all are appreciating the hilarity of these baby chicks right now. These are the Polish breed, um, a couple of different Polish breeds. And there's some barred rocks that we have um, and some Jersey Giants in there, but this Polish breed, they have the like tufts on their hair and actually on the darker one, it's going to grow like quite long in front of their face. Um, and <laughs> they're not like any better egg producers or anything. And I'm totally fine with that. They are doing just well in the brooder box that we have for them. Um, and they are not set to like move anytime soon, but that is not the case for the ducklings. The ducklings are getting moved out hopefully this weekend. What's going on, girly? What's going on? Come on. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi, sweet girl. Hi, sweet boy. We picked out names for our goats. Um, they are based off of one of my favorite TV shows. Um, and it was just after consideration of their personalities. Our doe is really sassy, um, but she's sweet um, and she's very picky about what she eats. Um, very critical of the food she's been provided here. So I'm gonna check with Eric one more time and make sure he's good with the names and then I will reveal them. The duck uh, quacking and honking is kind of relentless. What is the deal, guys? They're always looking for a quick meal. Always. Uh, they're learning to forage on their own and uh, it's going pretty well. They just see me and they just know she's got the goods. My last two videos have been about this like predator on our property and of course we know that there are, there are many different types of predators here at Little Z Farm. As we are expanding the farm we need to kind of make considerations on you know do we need to expand um, kind of the number of livestock guardians that we have but it got me thinking that one of the best parts about Little Z Farm is Walter. Walter is our livestock guardian. Walt is a great Pyrenees Anatolian shepherd mix and he is a great livestock guardian. He's also just the best friend. We're gonna meet Walt. All right, come on out. Yes, hello, hello. What a good boy. He's obsessed with tickles, aren't you buddy? Come on. Good boy, sit. <laughs> Walter is in charge of protecting our animals um, and he's just a sweetheart but you can't really let the sweet demeanor fool you because when it comes down to it he has a job that he does and he does it well. So if you come to our property you're going to hear a big fellowy bark from Walt um, and that's basically him just warning us 
that, hey, someone's here that maybe wasn't invited, but let me know if he was. Hi. So we got Walter when he was a baby. <laughs> Are you still the baby? And he, from the beginning, was like just a lover. Um, he was very sweet with me. You know, originally when we got him, we wanted him to be a livestock guardian for the chickens, but we also wanted some extra protection for me. At that time, Eric was traveling a lot, um, and I just wanted a dog. Walter. He was there for our first flock of chickens that he protected wholeheartedly. Our first egg, which we celebrated with a first egg photo shoot. What's always been crazy to me is that Walter has been able to identify like that the animals that we bring onto the property are his responsibility. I kind of wondered when we got him, I was like, how do we teach him to, you know, guard our animals, but not to welcome other animals onto the property. And it's just like he instinctively knew. And I mentioned this to Eric recently, and I said, how did he know that these goats were supposed to be here? Like, how did he know that he should be kind to these goats and, you know, that they were his responsibility? And Eric said, maybe because the goats are on a leash? Touche. Hey, it's still really cool if you think about it. Um, and Walter stays very busy at night, especially. What? Hmm. I'm trying to talk about you. Do you mind? Can we just. <laughs> so, what just happened was uh, the cats were fighting, and Walt had to break it up. <laughs> You're such a good boy. Uh, Walter does not allow fighting at Little Z Farm at all. It's just not allowed. Uh, so he does not like it if the animals fight on the property. He doesn't even like if the cats, uh, you know, get into the little cat um, tiffs that cats do. And he usually breaks it up um, and he'll run over and do his little... That's the sound, right, buddy? Is that the sound you make? Um, and that's basically uh, saying, break it up, guys. Walt is definitely the sheriff here in town. I really wish you'd turn around and face the camera. I mentioned in a video previous that when the cats catch rodents and things like that, Walter also alerts us to that. Um, and he will cry out for us to come over and save the mouse. I tried to gently explain to him that that's what the cats are for, but um, he, uh, he doesn't seem to have it. Walter ended up being a great guardian for me when Eric was gone and then we got ducks and expanded our chicken flock and Walter has always been really good about alerting us to things on the property. He has a job that he does, but he also just wants uh, to be pet and to receive his tickles and he wants to know that he's doing a good job. So Walter gets a lot of positive reinforcement and a lot of tickles um, and we spend a lot of time with him. You know, that's not always the case for a livestock guardian. Um, we don't have a lot of protecting for Walter to do right now, even though his responsibilities just increased with the goats. Um, but Walter is just as much a pet as he is a livestock guardian. Uh, Walter weighs about 140 pounds right now. Um, he was 160 pounds, which was too big. Um, for his frame, but the vet says that at 140, um, he's at just the right size for him. This breed is not always this large. Walter's dad was a very large dog, and so um, we knew Walter was going to be a big boy, but we thought he was going to be about 100 or 110 pounds. But Walter has alerted to coyotes, he's alerted to foxes, he's alerted to deer. Now we know that he's alerted to bobcats. And there's like Walter alerting, and then there's Walter just panicked, like get out here we got to get this figured out um, and actually the only time that we've had an issue with predators is when we had Walter locked up for a part of the summer because um, we had some down fencing and we didn't want him running out into the street as we're growing we might need another Walter <laughs> even though there can never be another Walter we're considering other types of livestock guardians as well, 
like alpacas or um, even miniature donkeys. I don't think I could do a full grown donkey, but maybe a mini donkey. I just wanted to introduce everyone to Sweet Walter because um, as we make more videos, he's probably the pup that you'll see the most of. Um, he does follow us around when we're outside, typically, uh, if he's not lounging and sunning, which is his favorite pastime. Uh, and my favorite thing to watch Walt do is try to police things from a laying down spot when he doesn't want to get up. Okay, I gotta go get the keys and then we'll go for a ride. All right, you ready? We're heading to the grocery store. What do you want for treat? Hmm? Does not care. Just happy to be here.